Welcome back to Notably Emily. I'm excited you're here today because I want to talk to you all about pet tape versus washi tape. I also want to unbox a new pet tape set that I received from Paper Game Co. with you. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the giveaway I'm partnering with Paper Game Co. on where you can also win a pet tape set. So let's get into everything you need to know about pet tape. Pet tape, PET tape, or clear washi tape, sometimes it's called, is essentially a clear tape that usually has a backing on it, like a sticker. And the designs are usually opaque, and the rolls are usually much thicker, and the designs are usually much more ornate than your regular washi tape. It's called PET tape, or PET tape, because it's an abbreviation of polyethylene tetraphthalate, which is essentially plastic, versus washi tape, which is made from washi paper, and it usually functions like a regular roll of tape where it's sticky on the back and you have a repeating design on the front. This is a typical washi tape size and width. Usually both types of rolls come in 10 meter long rolls, so it feels like it never ends, which is great. Pet tape is definitely my favorite decorative stationery item because I love the intricate detailed designs, the really large rolls so you can get so much out of each roll, the opaque colors so you can collage to your heart's content, and I find that the repeats are so long, usually about a meter or more, that you get lots of variety in the tape as well. Each roll is definitely a lot more expensive than your traditional washi tape. I would say three to four times as much, but I think you get so much out of it. It's like having a 10 meter long sticker roll essentially. So I absolutely see it as worth it and I use them enough to make it worth it. I find I'm also usually drawn toward pet tapes because the designs that I like are typically only really offered in a pet tape, but sometimes the designs are also offered in a thicker washi tape roll like this freckles tea design where it is a washi tape, but it also has a backing. So it'll behave like your typical washi tape in that it's not opaque and you need the white of the paper to make the colors really show up, but you get the same design as you would with a pet tape. So that's one way that you could still get your washi tape but have the design of a pet tape. If you wanted to, you could definitely use it like a regular tape and just cut off a section and use it as is. But I tend to cut out each individual element and use it more like a sticker. And that's something that frustrates people is you have to spend time cutting out each element. but. I really don't mind it. I enjoy cutting out each little piece, so it's not so bad for me. When you cut them out and you use them in a spread as well, there's also no white edge like you would get with a typical paper sticker or with a washi tape sticker. So I like that as well for layering because you only get the color of the design and not the white background or white outline of the sticker. To use them, of course, just like a sticker, you have to peel off the backing and you would peel it off like this. So you can see there's the clear backing and then the sticker is still clear here. Something that frustrates people with pet tape as well is that they find it really hard to peel the actual design off of the backing, but I will show you a really easy way to do that up close. Essentially, you use the pad of your finger and you make sure that the edge is facing away from you and the design is facing toward you. Essentially, what you're doing is you're folding the very, very, very edge and making it curl. And then as you let the edge curl, you'll find that it'll start to stick to the pad of your finger and you can very easily pull it away. So that is a fun hack to make these a little bit more fun to use. When you cut out each individual design, and I'll show you with this Peon Bird Island tape, I like to go around the design, but you can just cut straight across if that's 
what you prefer and then you're left with something that looks like this and this is a great little sticker that you can use you can collage with it and move it around the page because the backing is still on it and don't have to stick it down yet and then when you're ready to use it again you just take the pad of your finger you roll the edge and pull it toward the center of the design when using these and say you've cut them all up and you want to start using them a way that I like to store them is with my sticker book you'll see I have lots of these already in here so I can add this to my little bird island collection I have when you're done I suggest having a little paper waste basket or a little jar or something I've repurposed this jar and put the backing right into the little waste basket when you're finished with it so that it doesn't stick to your clothes using static like it has for me and you end up finding the clear backing all over the house it's easy to lose track of it because it is clear so putting it right into that paper waste basket right away is going to make things a little bit more fun and easy for you as you can see i do have a collection here and i do have quite a few washi tapes as well but pet tapes are usually what i'm buying and interested in one of my favorite designers is freckles tea which is really lucky for me because I have a brand new set by Freckles Tea that I want to unbox with you. This is the new pet tape collection from Freckles Tea. It's the pure white collection and it's volume three in her collection. Freckles Tea is an indie China-based illustrator who does these hand-painted watercolor illustrations that she then turns into pet tapes and washi tapes and all kinds of beautiful stationery. She's definitely a cult favorite and this was highly anticipated by the stationery world if you know you know and i was really looking forward to getting my hands on this set this has been gifted to me by paper game one of my favorite stationery stores in the u.s we're partnering to give away a brand new full freckles tea volume 3 set so everything you see in this unboxing so check out my instagram to find out how to win this box it's really cute and there's six different designs as we can see each of them are packaged so beautifully and because this is the set when you buy the set all together you also get these bonus set of celebration memo papers as well that only comes in the box you can buy these individually if you only like one or two of the designs but if you do want the celebration memo set you have to buy the full set let's unwrap all of these and we can see the new designs up close as i talk a little bit more about pet tape and how you can use these pet tapes let's start with this one first this is tangerine it has tangerines on it with pet tapes if you don't know usually people talk about the repeat and how long the repeat is Usually a tape is 10 meters long, unless otherwise stated, and every so often the designs will repeat. You know, oranges aren't usually my thing, but I love how muted these are, and there's beautiful, beautiful white and orange flowers. So here's the repeat. So it's about a meter, a meter long before the designs repeat again. We'll go with this one next. This is Forest Poems. And if you don't know, there's three different kinds of tape like this. I got the translucent or matte tape, which is why the clear backing is actually a little bit frosted and that's so that there's not so much glare or shine on the tape, but you still get the beautiful designs. I prefer that way. Or you can get full glossy, which is like what I showed you earlier, where the tape is completely clear and it's shinier. Or the third kind you can get is the washi tape version. This again is an earlier design from Freckles Tea. 
and this is washi tape and has all the same properties as a regular washi tape, but it's larger and it also has a backing. And when you enter the giveaway for this Freckles Tea Volume 3 set, you will get to choose what finish you want. So this is a translucent set, but you could also choose glossy or washi tape too. This one seems like it's a two meter long repeat. So you get two meters of unique designs before it repeats. So in a 10 meter roll, you'll get five of each little element. So again, that last one was forest poems. And now we have the pure white tea brown tape. This one is a little bit wider than the other ones. So you get a little bit more. Usually that also means they're a little bit more expensive. The larger the tape, the more expensive they are. This one is sort of continuing the theme of browns, neutrals, whites. I mean, it's called the Pure White Collection, so that makes a lot of sense. And Freckles Tea is really known for these beautiful neutrals and the watercolor illustrations. And it'll be very easy for me to mix and match her other tapes that I have already and these ones because they're all in a very similar style. This one is the Pure White Mist Blue. I'm such a sucker for light blues and purples and the cooler tones. So this one might be my favorite. And there's quite a lot of tape here. As you can see, there's six of them. Something I like to do is share samples with friends and I'll cut up a meter or cut up a few different tapes and designs and swap them with people because with 10 meters you'll never even notice that it's gone <laughs> and i do use my pet tapes a ton but i still have so much to work through so sharing them or even selling samples like i do on my coffee is a great way to keep cycling through what you have and make room for new things that you want to try like this this one is called autumn leaves another more neutral muted one and like i said before if there's one that you like and you don't really like the other ones or you just want to try out a couple you can absolutely just buy one or two from the paper game website that's totally an option Sometimes I see people will go in half and half and they'll each take five meters from a roll and it's a good way to cut down on the cost but still get a lot for the money that you have. And these neutral browns are so good for fall especially. So I'm excited to use that for some fall spreads, perfect timing. And these ones have a lot more little text elements too, which can be fun to challenge yourself to try and use in your spreads. This one is Cicada Rain. It's a little bit brighter than the muted blues we saw earlier for the pure white mist blue one and it is not as wide as that one. The blues are really great for spring, even winter too if you want to really lean into the the winter florals. I mean florals are pretty standard and popular for good reason. There's so much you can do with them. And now we have the bonus celebration memo set. They look like they're a little bit bigger than business cards, perhaps. Here they are on my hand. And it looks like there's quite a few of them. There might be a hundred, not a hundred percent sure. Probably never get them back in this plastic. <laughs> I really love collage and memo papers like this because I use them constantly in my spreads, especially since these will match the color themes and the motifs that are in the pet tapes. These will be a really, really great addition and also really fun to share with friends and swap. With designs like this too, you really don't need much more on top of this base because there's already text and there's a few different designs and there's some 
images and things like that. So you could just put a couple of the Pet Tape Element stickers on them and have a cute little collage. With such beautiful new tapes, I really want to use these and I will show you a few different easy, really beginner friendly journal spreads that you can do with just using pet tape. I'll go to a new spread here so that we can start. I'm going to use the tangerine pet tape here and I will cut out a few designs to use in this really easy spread. It does take a little bit of time, which is why sometimes I just like to sit down and cut out a whole bunch and put them into a sticker book so that when I want to actually sit down and journal, I can just quickly grab whatever elements I want and put them on the page. But for this spread, I cut them all out and I have a whole bunch here and it's a really simple inner page spread. So what I like to do and what you can do to give it a little bit more visual interest as well is split it up by color because you get so many different elements in this one pet tape. There's ones that skew a little bit more toward the green and white which I'll put on the right side and then more of the tangerines and those orange and brown colors I'll put on the left to give it some more interest here. With the backing still on, you can move them around, you can put them in a specific spot. They're a little bit springy, but you can start putting them down on the page. Your finished spread will look something a little bit like this. It's really simple, but with the different colors on each page and all the different elements coming together, it still looks really pretty. And you only need to use one pet tape since there's so many different elements just in one roll. I will use the forest poem pet tape for my next one and this is going to be just little corner collages. If you know me you know I love a good little corner collage so bonus points if you can also make it look like a little scene in the corner and it still leaves you lots of space to write but still looks really cute and you only need one pet tape. Here are my two little corner collages that I made. Like I said before with pet tape, because it's a lot more opaque, you can layer it and it won't just turn into a big unidentifiable blob. We have the girl over here, it looks like she's dancing and I wanted to make it look like she's dancing in the flowers. And the cat is sort of laying at her feet. And over on the left, I have the girl again and it looks like she's sitting in a little bed of flowers and very Alice in Wonderland vibes with the big flowers next to her and the bunny at her feet as well. I'll be using the mist blue pet tape for this last beginner friendly spread and it's going to be one that's in the middle of a page. You can very easily do this with any type of pet tape that you have. For this one I think it'd be really pretty to do a wreath on the right hand side of the page. This is optional but you can get something that is round to trace a circle around to keep your wreath looking cohesive or you can just dive right in and do your best. If you have some left over you can always save it for later, put it in your sticker book or put it in a little envelope and have the sticker flakes ready for you next time. Here's my really simple wreath. It's not 100% perfect and I used a couple of flowers from the previous spread because it was running out, but this is what it looks like. For the most part, it's one pet tape's worth. You could put a quote, a photo, or anything you want in the middle or just leave as is, but I think it's really simple and pretty and you still have the whole left side to write and if you wanted to, you could write above and below as well. If you're looking for a unique and vast array of pet tape and washi tape as well as ephemera and other pieces, I highly recommend Paper Game. You can visit them at papergame.co, that's .co, and I have a discount code for them as well. It is notably Emily and it gets you 10% off of your first purchase. 
enter in the giveaway to win one of these Pure White Volume 3 Freckles Tea sets. This is the translucent one, but you can also get the washi or the full gloss when you win, so make sure to check that out. Thank you again to Paper Game for gifting me this pet tape set. I hope you liked my beginner-friendly spread ideas with just one pet tape. If you want more ideas like that, I'm happy to share more spreads, so comment down below and let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye!